when is enough enough? On today's case, Mrs. Jackson says that after 16 years of marriage, multiple infidelities, and two on-break babies, she's had more than enough. Lord, have mercy. She says her husband has given her nothing but a lifetime of humiliation and heartbreak. Now she's ready to move on with her life. Mr. Jackson says he loves his wife and he wants to save his marriage, but it takes two to tango. Can this marriage be saved? Let's hear their case. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Starr presiding. Your Honor, this is the case of Jackson versus Jackson. Mrs. Jackson and Mr. Jackson. Mrs. Jackson, you have come in my courtroom today with divorce papers in hand. You say your husband's lack of commitment to you and your children have left you with no choice but to end your marriage. Yes, Your Honor. And Mr. Jackson, you say you are not the only one who has contributed to the demise of this marriage. You admit you've made mistakes, but your wife's constant arguing with no resolution has chipped away at your union. You are hoping to save your 15 and a half your marriage. Yes, y'all. Okay, Mr. and Mrs. Jackson, you all have put a lot of time into this marriage. What brings us into court today, ma'am? Y'all, now I'm here today because my husband has ruined every possible thought of a good marriage. Yes, ma'am. My mother and father, they showed me a beautiful, faithful, and loving marriage for over 40 years. And that's what I envisioned myself to have. But I got no parts of that. Not only is my husband a liar, a cheater, but he is selfish. And I got these divorce papers and I want a divorce today. Mrs. Jackson just laid it out, Mr. Jackson. I'm not even sure what to do but to say tag your it, sir. What do you say? Your Honor, I love my wife. I've been with, I've known her since we were kids. We got three beautiful kids together. We've been married for over 15 years. I know I did a lot. I know I did a lot. I made a lot of mistakes, but she got to look in the mirror too, Your Honor. She got some stuff for her too. Well, let's see if we can compare our stuff and see if there's anything to salvage. Because, Mrs. Jackson, I'm looking at your face and it looks like the face of a woman that's fed up. Mrs. Jackson, tell me how you all met. Your husband says you've known each other since children. Yes, I met my husband. I was 11 and he was 10 years old. My goodness. And we met at our city Jamaican festival. Well, I met him through my cousin. And I just seen him and I thought he was just so fly. He was, I, a, he was 10 years old and you yes, thought he was we fly? Yes, was young. Yeah, we was young and I thought he was just so fly. And I told my cousin one day he was going to be my husband. So we dated on and off later on as teenagers. And then around 2001, we became official. Mm-hmm. And it was good for a while. Yes, ma'am. A year later, it was around his birthday. I went out and I bought wedding rings. Okay, this is before you're married. Yes. Okay. I went out and I bought wedding rings and I set up the bedroom with candles and flowers and I asked Mr. Jackson to marry me. And he said yes to the mess. He did say yes. So you actually proposed to him? Yes. Mr. Jackson, why'd you say yes? Because I, 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 marriage was hard. Mar thinking about marriage at a young age was hard. You were 20 and 21 20, years old. We were right, 20 and 21. Right, right, right. You're right. We but I said she would, if I was to get married, she would be right. the one, but I wasn't a big believer in marriage. Right. But you got married, and as I understand, you now have three children together, correct? Yes. yes. But it didn't all turn out the way you had hoped, Mrs. Jackson? No. We were at a family picnic, and one of his family members came to me and told me that he had gotten his ex pregnant. Just one minute. I want to make sure that I heard you. You were at a family picnic and a family member talked to me. One of his family members told me that he had got his ex pregnant. Were you married at the time? No. You were we together? We weren't married yet. Yes, we were, we were engaged, but we were together. Yeah, we was engaged about, we was engaged about eight years. Mm -hmm. Because of all the mess that he caused. That's why we stayed engaged and we didn't get married yet. I was livid. Of course you, know, you were. Because I just asked, I just proposed to you. You know, I asked you to marry me. And now you got somebody, you know, pregnant, rehab your baby. 
So you were an engaged man, and you got with your net with an ex? Yes, Your Honor. It was. It was. I didn't mean to drinking. Too much drinking, That's what he too told much partying. Me. That's what he told. But Mr. Jackson, if you were with um, the now Mrs. Jackson and you had intention on making her your wife, there are ways to avoid becoming pregnant. You know that, right? Yes, but dealing with alcohol. That's and what he I, at the time, I had a lot of growing up to do, Your Honor. So you're telling me it was a mistake of immaturity and being a little too inebriated. Is that what you're saying? Yes, yeah, Your Honor. No. He said he went out... Excuse me, Your Honor. He said he went out and he got drunk and he slept with her. And um, it was like maybe a month later, she came and told him that she was pregnant. But you somehow figured out how to forgive him for that. Yes, I did. And, and you I... all went ahead and got married. Yeah, but I, I took him back because I had already had two children before our relationship. Okay. So... Yeah, and you and, thought you could love this child also? Right. So I thought we could get through it because he treated my two children as if they were his. You right. Know, he loved them like they were his. Mm -hmm. So I said, you know, I could forgive you for this and we can move on and try okay. to work it I out. Okay, I understand. That's a mature way of approaching what is a stumbling block in a relationship. Yeah. I get what you're doing. Okay, and then we turn around. He find out he got her pregnant again. Huh? Oh, what? Oh, what? Man. Where? What? Man. Yes. Wow. You said got her. Yeah. As in the same the ex, woman? The same, the same woman, y'all. Were you married then? No, we still wasn't married yet. Not yet. This was in 2002. I was pregnant with our baby, our first baby. <gasps> I had no intentions on sleeping with this girl. At all. That's not even the kicker, Your Honor. There's more? There's more. This is the third time. With a white woman. He doesn't discriminate. No, he does not. <laughs>
I answer the phone. I say hello. The girl, she busts out laughing. Kaka, kiki, and hang up. I am pissed off. So I wake him up, ask him, who is this keep calling your phone? Now, he want to boo-hoo. He boo-hooing and crying, because he know I'm, you about to go. Again, you about to go. Got to go. OK. He crying, talking about some. She was a, um, one of his clients, ex. So now you messing with one of your clients, ex-girlfriends. I mean, you have absolutely no discernment. Ex-girlfriends, white women, black women. But you're honest, you, you got to understand. A man that needs, has his needs, Your Honor. You know and what? I am not getting your somebody. needs met if you out here cheating. If you'd like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Miss the show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and follow us on social media for exclusive content. Mr. Jackson, honestly, not trying to, not trying to be crude, but do you even care where you dip your stuff? Yes, Your Honor. Because it's just sounding really? nasty. Yes. I don't know how else to put it. Like I, I just had to ask the question because, honestly, how you gonna bring all of this in into the honor, house where your people live? I That's... was pregnant with our last baby. It wasn't, but it wasn't back to back, Your Honor. I had just had our last baby. She making it seem like it was I had just had our last baby. It wasn't back to back. This is over time. Now we got three babies together. I had just had our last baby. And he has two on break babies. Yes. And I went through a lot with our last baby. I had to have a cesarean. My baby, last baby came out three pounds. He's strong and fine now, but I went through all that. I was there, right with her. I didn't miss her. You him. need to he be, was don't you ever act woman. like you're there. supposed to get credit he for some there. stuff you're supposed to do. With he your was penis not jumping out all over town. I mean, you have absolutely no discernment. Ex-girlfriends, white he, women, black he, women. She, no, you're I'm just an equal girl. opportunity cheater, dang. But, Your Honor, she, you got to understand, a man that needs, has his needs, Your Honor. He has his needs. Uh, you know what? I am not getting your needs met. Seriously. If you out here cheating, no, I'm not. I keep he talk about something I got. Um, um, I don't want to sleep no, that's with. What you no, I'm I was not. Cheating. I wasn't cheating. Because all you're those cheating with other no. people. Why would I sleep no. with Mr. you? Mr. I'm gonna tell you something right now, Mr. Jackson. There is no reason in the world that Mrs. Jackson would want to be intimate with someone to is we know for a fact has been cheating on her. We know that for a fact because babies are exhibit A, okay? Over the years, there was only those couple mistakes. But she's vindictive too, Your Honor. She stole and money. This man <laughs> said it's only them, those couple Your mistakes. Your Honor, she stole, stole money. money. What in the world would make you marry this dirty, you know what? Faithfulness. Faithfulness for somebody who is not faithful. Forgiveness. That's basically what forgiving. Mr. Jackson, you said Mrs. Jackson has her own stuff, so I want to hear what you have yes, to say, Yes, she sir. has her own stuff, Your Honor. She stole my money. What do you mean she stole your money? Okay, we, we had a settlement. From you. We had a settlement. We, we had a we settlement had together. $20,000 all together, we split in $10,000 apiece. Now, around this time, she thinking, she thinking I'm doing something, thinking I'm cheating. We wasn't speaking, and she just disappears and just gone for three days. I get to call her, she don't answer the phone. Come to find out, she's out of town in Miami. Me still not knowing that she spent the money until she came back with gifts for the kids and everybody else but me. The money was my settlement from an illness that I got, okay? So then how was it you, your money also? We was married at the time, Your Honor. Excuse hey, me, Your Honor. Oh, oh, it's no, you. excuse me. <laughs> oh, no, you didn't he put throw me at me. We were married at the time. This came, when, this when have you respected anything that had to do with marriage? And you have the audacity to now want to throw in marriage when it has to do with some money? But when you were pulling your penis out for Lottie Dottie and everybody all up and around the corner, Black women, white women, all, all kind of women. You didn't care nothing about marriage and what y'all are supposed to share. You're supposed to share fidelity. You're supposed to share trust. My mother passed away recently. 
And I am certainly sorry to hear that. Okay. There is no pain like burying a mom. And my mom was, like, my best friend. She was my best friend. She meant the world to me. Okay. And I thought he was going to console me and be there for me, but he was not. He I was tried. not there. He was, he was not there for me I at tried. all. Okay. I'm on the I floor love crying. Too. Sobbing over a picture of my mother. Re remembering my mom. He walked past me like I wasn't even there. He no affection, no, no nothing. I'm what would him. your late mother say to you if she were here right now? She would be pissed off. Thank you. Thank she you. Would be really, she would be really... Mrs. Jackson, what has happened in your life that makes you feel like you don't deserve to have somebody to treat you with respect. What has happened in your life? I grew up with him. And? I grew up with him, and I thought... I really thought that we was gonna be, you know, a great couple. But you were wrong. I thought we had that story. But you were wrong. Yeah, I was. Because, let I me was. tell you both something, there's a time, I a was. reason, and a season for every relationship. And it may have been a time where you all were just kicking it in kids and having a great time together. And I understand the reason that you wanted to stay together, to honor the fidelity of your, mar of your parents' marriage. Yeah. That's, that's a very good reason. And there may have been some time in your life that the season was wonderful. And we did have, we did have good times. We did have good times, but Thanks. most of the time, it was him just tearing our marriage apart, just tearing our relationship I'm apart. I'm going to turn to Mr. Jackson because, Mr. Jackson, you said you wanted to save this marriage. Sir, I got to uh, hear from you. Your Honor, you talking... Look at the time. We talking over 15 years. She's I'm talking, talking about, about what has happened in... She's no. about three incidents, this Your Honor. Over the course of the Sir, 15 years. Sir, these are years. major... I know. ...incidents. I know, and you seem to think that you're supposed to be able to put that in the past. People may be able to forgive what you've done, but they never forget how you made them feel. Mrs. Jackson, I see you waving papers around. Have you signed them? Yes, I signed them. I'd like them. to see them. Your Honor, that's the third set. <laughs> but no joke, it's all over. jokes aside, I'm here. It's a game. I, it's here. a game to him. It's a game. I'm here and, and I want to be here. I'm, I I'm over the games. It's not no a game. No more video man. games. I'm done. Mrs. Jackson, my bailiff is right here. Would you like him to serve those papers? Serve them. Robert? Because he thinks it's a game. Mr. Jackson, serve him. you've been served. Three many things are going here. Not too many things, three many things. Cheating and losing your partner's trust is a real tall mountain to climb. Um, and those w wounds run deep, sir. Your wife has to deal with the product of your infidelity when she sees these children and sees this side chick, who's not a side chick. She's like a, a, a sister wife. Okay. Because she's been right there parallel. It's really inexcusable, the kind of stuff that you've put this family through. And I appreciate the fact that you signed those divorce papers and we have served them on your behalf. It is time for you to take them to a court okay. so that you can actually begin the process of growth on your own. That's how you're gonna honor your mother and father. And I'm gonna say this to you. You've been with this man for the vast majority of your adult life. It is time for you to grow a backbone. Get up off the floor. Do not be a doormat. Put yourself first and your kids right there next to you. Don't worry about Mr. Jackson. He's gonna absolutely be fine. You know why I know? Because you know what he's gonna do? He's gonna take his pictures and his plants in a box and go on over to that side woman house. Because that's what he's been doing. And seeing them other children that he has. Robert, when trifling meets sorry, mm -hmm. that's what you get. Absolutely. I mean, this is the third set, but this, I think, is going to be the final set. I do, too. I'm so glad that she had the backbone to serve those papers, and I'm glad she spent that money. Let me tell you, I have one public service announcement. If you're a player player, use protection, please. Thank you. And that's officially from the bailiff of Divorce Court. Made in Georgia.